All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBA and the IBO Super Welterweight Championship of the World. Here is the determined challenger, the world ranked super welterweight contender, introducing Greg, the villain Vendetti. In his second reign as world champion, here is the defending two time WBA and the IBO super welterweight champion of the world, introducing Eris Lundy, the American dream Lara. And early on here, Lennox Lewis, you just see there seems to be a championship calm with Lara, don't you think? Yeah. Very smooth in there. Nice little hook there by Vendetti. Yeah, absolutely. He's taking his time. You know, he's a counterpuncher, so he doesn't really have to do too much. Ven Vendetti has to do the, the work. He has to get in. He has to get in and do the work. Lara can sit back and wait for Vendetti because, you know, the Vendetti has to come forward. And just keep trying to grind on him. Right there. See? And it, something will come of it. Yeah. Laura threw a hook, but Vendetti got a right hand off of it. So he's going to have to be perpetual motion and force Lara to fight. Lara, Lara's going to, hopefully Lara's corner talks to him and tell him to, you know, go with that uppercut, that left uppercut, because he's been great with it so far and uh, very accurate with it. Vendetti trying to close this gap, fighting a little bit closer. Through two rounds, Vendetti trying to make it interesting. Laura's got to start letting his hands go a little bit more. I, I, I know Vendetti isn't doing a whole heck of a lot. He's trying to get inside first. See, he's got to do that, and he just hurt him with that left hand. Oh, that was a good hard hard left hand. Vendetti lifting up off his feet, too. He got starts by that. He's trying to regain his composure. Yeah. Well, he ate that pretty well. He comes back in, looks to fight. Lunging and trying to close that gap. Got hit very hard there from Lara. Well, you know, he's been Lennox throwing these shots like kind of that pawing, pawing. But that left hand he threw just a moment ago. What is he pointing at his shoelaces? And he threw that with conviction. That was a very different left hand that he just threw. I think we got a replay of it. Hold on, here it is. Look, hey, hey, look down there. What? What? What's Where? That? Right. He didn't okay. look, Boom. though. He didn't right. look. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. Didn't catch. Didn't connect and didn't catch him. Seventh round scheduled for 12 because uh, that regular belt is on the line. And Lara still looks sharp. You know, it wasn't that long ago we had that great fight with Jared Hurd, who was a monster in the ring. Again, no rise to the occasion. And a guy like Laura, he'll admit, he goes, my legs aren't exactly the same. But what you give away with your legs, you gain an experience. And he's got a, a bag full of tricks. So, Good uh, uppercut there by Vendetti as he came in on the inside once again as he's trying to the body. He is a little bit closer as Lara gets in more of that defensive shell. And, and, and look, how much punishment has he really taken? He's only been dropped three times in his career, uh, amateur or pro, and he's just an amazing guy. He's a tremendous defensive fighter. He's just he's just uh, a, a very difficult guy all the way around. And Joe, well, he's still got his legs. Yeah, he does. his legs are really good. He's still still got a lot of pep in them. He doesn't really have to move too much. He knows the movements to, to move. And then he tries to make some hay on the inside, throwing some body shots, and that's his only chance. Lara covers up. He actually did fairly well, landed some good punches, but he's, he's just not capable of beating a guy like Lara, as it turns out. But we, we gave him a chance, and you know, we were hoping he, he could do better for himself. Well, yeah, Lara, again, has the idea was, well, Vendetti is on the way up, and Lara's on the way down, and I think a lot of this, and to your point of like no shame in Vendetti's effort, is that Lara does not look like he has been, you know, he's not actively declining. Let's put it that way. He has stayed at the very high level and has been poised throughout this fight. Final seconds of this fight. Again, they fought 12. Greg Vendetti with his big opportunity. That's a hard shot from Lara, punishing Vendetti as he comes in, up on his toes, and that is 12 rounds of a cruise for Erislandi Lara. Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in Los Angeles, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Carla Kais, scores about 116 to 112. Judges Zachary Young 
and Dr. Lou Moret both scored about 117 to 111. All three in favor of the winner and still champion, Edis Lundy, the American Dream, Lara. Well, if I'm not mistaken, one judge had an 8-4, which is a little closer than I thought, but again, that's me. Uh, the other two judges had it nine rounds to three. Take a look at the copy box numbers. Uh, wide uh, margin for Eris Lara, 161 to 88 landed shots. He out threw, out landed as well. Again, uh, thought it was kind of a master class, but eight rounds to four. Vendetti made a good account of himself and uh, got some credit from the judges. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.